The weather is about to change a ton over the next few days as we are expecting a record-breaking weather pattern with record-breaking high temperatures expected from the northern and central plains all the way back through the northeast. And on top of that, more severe weather is going to be coming, including the threat of damaging winds, very large hail, and more tornadoes. So in today's forecast, we are going to break down exactly what you need to know about the weather that will be impacting the United States over the next seven days. And we'll begin with what's happening across the country today. And we are coming off of a exhausting day of severe weather across the northern plains in the upper midwest and unfortunately we had our first derecho of the year which means a widespread swath of damaging winds impacted areas like north dakota and minnesota we've not had any derecho so far this year and this was officially the first one and on top of that we had multiple large tornadoes on our live stream yesterday and unfortunately at least two fatalities have been confirmed from those tornadoes yesterday and we are just hoping that the storm system is going to end very fast because there are still storms out there this morning that are going across parts of the Upper Peninsula of Michigan and also into Canada. And we are expecting at least a threat of damaging winds, hail, and maybe a couple more tornadoes throughout the day today in areas like the Great Lakes, the Northeast, and maybe once again back over in areas like North Dakota. And unfortunately, we had a bunch of storm reports yesterday, which corresponds with us having a derecho across areas in North Dakota, South Dakota, and also back into central Minnesota, where we had as many as 13 tornadoes yesterday. And on top of that, there were over 75 wind reports ports in these areas and this was just one of many tornadoes that happened yesterday this was from Freddie McKinney this was one of the only tornadoes that happened during daylight and obviously this was huge and this is what every single tornado for the most part looked like yesterday we had half a mile to almost a mile wide tornadoes across many areas in southeast or North Dakota if you have any friends or family in those areas make sure that they are doing all right this morning now let's talk more about the weather pattern that'll be impacting the United States over the next seven days and it'll begin with what's happening this weekend and right now we have a ridge that is in place back over in the Ohio Valley in the southeast. This is keeping things warm and mostly dry. We also have a very strong southerly wind here that is coming out of Texas and the Gulf, and this is leading to extremely warm weather across areas like the Midwest and also all the way back into the Northeast, which is why we are expecting record-breaking high temperatures over the next several days, with many areas in the 100s and even some feel-like temperatures as high as 115 to 120 degrees. On the other hand, we have troughing that is continuing back over in the Pacific Northwest, and this is going to help to lead to the potential for some severe weather over the next few days and this is predominantly going to be across areas like the northern and central plains back into the midwest as well where all hazards of severe weather will continue to be a problem and then by early next week this ridge will continue to stay in place our troughing will get weaker back over on the west coast but there should still be enough here for there to be maybe another storm system or two that at least bring isolated to scattered severe weather during the middle of the week and then i think things start to get at least a little bit quieter by the weekend we're going to start to get some more zonal flow which should keep things at least somewhat quieter but any severe weather that happens over the weekend should be predominantly back over in the northern plains the midwest and also back into the northeast while things will stay fairly quiet i think across the southern plains in the southeast by next weekend now with all that said we are expecting a record-breaking heat wave over the next few days these are our temperature anomalies today which is basically our difference from our average temperatures and we have a lot of below average temperatures right now in the pacific northwest and along the west coast but this red blob here that stretches from new mexico all the way back through the Midwest is well above average temperatures and we are expecting some brutal heat today and tomorrow across areas like the Midwest all the way back through the Ohio Valley in the Northeast on Sunday that warm air is going to continue with record breaking high temperatures likely across the Midwest and the Northeast and by Monday the majority of the warm weather will start to shift further to the east to include areas mainly from the mid-Atlantic back into the Northeast where record breaking high temperatures will continue by the middle and end of this week I think the record breaking temperature trend will start to simmer down a little bit but we'll still have that potential potential even by next weekend back over in the Midwest as well above average temperatures are likely going to make a return but unfortunately right now there are no signs of any major cold frontal boundaries unless you are in the northern plains we are expecting some well above average temperatures to continue basically throughout the rest of June and probably to even begin July here are the forecasted high temperatures for Sunday we are expecting temperatures as high as 100 degrees back over in areas like southwestern Minnesota even the Twin Cities will be in the mid to upper 90s even look back over here in the northeast many areas even connecticut could be as high as the upper 90s on sunday even monday it's going to be pretty brutal especially if you're back over in the northeast or in the mid-atlantic most areas will be making it into the mid to upper 90s there will definitely be a few 100s as well washington dc likely to hit 100 degrees and even hartford connecticut will also hit 100 degrees and on top of that these are the feel like temperatures including today where most areas in the midwest will feel like 100 to 110 degrees even on sunday we are going to be dealing with this brutal heat across the mid 
Midwest, Great Lakes, and back through the Northeast. And then even on Monday along the East Coast, there will be some areas like Maryland and Eastern Virginia that'll feel as warm as 110 degrees. So if you have any sort of respiratory issues, it's probably a good idea to limit outdoor time over the next few days if you're in any of these areas. Now let's talk more about the severe weather potential for the next few days, beginning with today, which is Saturday. And we have a slight risk of severe weather in place across the Great Lakes in the Northeast. Marginal threat that extends from Montana back into New England, where all hazards of severe weather are on the table today, with the greatest concern being scattered damaging winds and a little bit of large hail is also a possibility. There's also a low chance for an isolated tornado or two out of a line of thunderstorms late this morning into the early afternoon across parts of the upper Michigan Peninsula, northern Michigan, and also back into New York, and a low tornado risk also exists in North Dakota and far northeastern Montana. So make sure you have multiple ways to receive alerts, have a tornado action plan ready to go. There is a low chance of a live stream today, so make sure you click the bell icon down below so you're notified if we do go live. As we go into Sunday, the risk of severe weather will once again grow across the northern plains, the Midwest, and even back into areas like Texas, where all hazards of severe weather will be on the table, including the risk of damaging winds, which should be the primary concern, especially back over in northern Minnesota, where damaging winds could even be significant at times. On top of that, large hail is a possibility. We may even see some very large hail up to the size of tennis balls back over in northern and northwestern Minnesota and eastern North Dakota. There's also a potential for a few tornadoes. We have a 5% tornado risk already outlined back over in central northern Minnesota and eastern North Dakota, which is an area that we just saw severe weather in earlier this morning. And then a large 2% tornado risk is in place anywhere from central Nebraska back into the upper peninsula of Michigan. So it looks like it's going to be a pretty busy day on Sunday. We are likely going to be live on this channel covering this event. So make sure you are subscribed to the channel. And then on Monday, the threat of severe weather will shift a little bit further down to the south and east where we have a slight risk in place across parts of the Midwest and a marginal threat that includes the central plains back into the Great Lakes. I think the biggest concern for Monday will be damaging winds and large hail, but there may be a tornado or two. And if that does happen, we'll likely go live on Monday. So make sure you're subscribed to the channel. Now let's go day by day with the timing of severe weather beginning with today, which right now we have a line of storms moving across the upper peninsula of Michigan. This will be moving into Ontario late this morning and into the early afternoon where damaging winds and an isolated tornado will be possible. I overall think most of Michigan will be pretty dry unless you're in the upper peninsula of Michigan. I think things are going to be pretty quiet across most of the thumb of Michigan throughout the afternoon hours. And then back over in the northeast, that line of storms will eventually track into the northeast late tonight, producing the threat of damaging winds and an isolated tornado. I think the majority of this severe weather will hold off until after sunset tonight. And then there'll be a bunch of storms here across the northeast as we go into Sunday morning, which will be mostly rain, not a whole lot of severe weather in those areas. And then in the northern plains for today, there is a conditional risk for an isolated tornado or two, but I think the majority of the storms will hold off to the north of North Dakota. I think we're mostly be talking about a threat of severe weather in Canada with damaging winds and a low tornado risk existing. And depending on storm mode, we may end up seeing an isolated tornado, but if it's clustered together, it'd be probably mostly wind and maybe some hail. And then as we go into Sunday, our threat of severe weather is going to be somewhat conditional depending on storm mode and storm initiation. But we once again have a pretty favorable envi environment on Sunday for the potential for tornadoes that even could be on the strong side of things because of this right here. We are one, going to have a lot of wind shear, and then two, our significant tornado parameter values are going to be a bit more elevated from central Nebraska all the way back up into Minnesota, where there will be a potential for a few tornadoes. And I honestly think that Canada might actually be the hot spot for a strong tornado or two on Sunday. So something to keep an eye on. But overall, we still have a pretty favorable environment across the board. Assuming that storms can maintain updrafts, we may end up seeing a couple of tornadoes, maybe even a strong tornado in this environment on Sunday. So definitely make sure that you're staying weather aware. There is a once again, a pretty good chance they'll be live here on Sunday covering this threat of severe weather. So here's the timing for severe weather going into Sunday. We are expecting a few supercells to fire off around four to five o'clock back over in North Dakota and northwestern Minnesota with large hail damaging winds and a tornado or two being possible with these discrete supercells. It is a question mark whether supercells will fire further down to the south during the same sort of time period. But I think another thing that's going to happen is right around seven to eight o'clock, we'll probably get a corridor of a few supercells firing back over northern Nebraska, eastern South Dakota, and these will eventually move into areas like Minnesota if they are able to maintain their updrafts. And then during the overnight hours, we should continue to see a potential for damaging wind tail and a low tornado risk if any storms are still discrete. And then eventually by Monday morning, we are clearing out here across most of Minnesota. However, during Monday afternoon, there is a low chance of isolated damaging winds just to the south and east of the Twin Cities, which would eventually move into areas like the Midwest, mainly in Wisconsin and Iowa. And then back over in the Central Plains, not really expecting a whole lot for Sunday, 
just a few pop-up storms for the most part. It should be relatively isolated. By the time we go into Monday morning, things are still pretty quiet, and then we should have a lot of storms firing off right around 5 to 6 o'clock on Monday, stretching from New Mexico all the way back into central Iowa. This is all kind of around our high-pressure system. Biggest concern with these storms will be damaging winds and hail. There's a chance, though, for an isolated tornado or two if any storms can favor an outflow boundary, and then eventually by early Tuesday morning, we are once again drying out in this area. And then in the Midwest for Monday, again, there will be a cluster of storms that may develop just outside the Twin Cities during the late morning and early afternoon on Monday. That would eventually produce damaging winds and a very low tornado risk across Wisconsin. And then eventually by the late afternoon and early evening hours, storms will continue across Iowa and southern Wisconsin with damaging winds, hail, and again, a very low tornado risk existing. And then as we go into Tuesday morning, things will be fairly quiet, just a few showers and storms out there. So overall, a pretty active pattern still is going to continue, and we will have a chance of a live stream both Sunday and Monday, so make sure you are subscribed to the channel. Click the bell icon down below so you're notified if we do go live. And then beyond the next few days, our active weather pattern is going to continue. By Tuesday and Wednesday of this week, we are expecting at least some scattered severe weather to continue. I think the bulk of this, though, will be across areas in the northern and central plains and back into the Midwest. I really don't anticipate anything super organized, though. I think hail and wind will be the biggest concern every single day. By Thursday, the same sort of weather pattern will continue with isolated severe weather being a possibility in some areas. And then by Friday and Saturday, we start to get this zonal flow, which will likely favor less significant severe weather events. But across the board, we can basically still expect severe weather almost every single day. I just think overall, it's going to be pretty isolated here throughout the rest of June into early July. But again, Sunday and Monday, those could be slightly more interesting days, which is the reason why I think there's a chance of a live stream. So make sure you are subscribed to the channel for that. And as always, thank you all so much for watching today's forecast. If you are new to the channel, make sure to subscribe down below. We'll likely be live Sunday, if not maybe on Monday as well. We'll have to wait and see how things pan out. But otherwise, we will have another video tomorrow talking about that storm system at the minimum. So make sure you stay tuned. We'll see you guys all again in the next forecast or live stream.